familiarity with situations, exactly. and that's it. And now hey, people have the opportunity to do you that. Gotta day in the and day out. You gotta learn the flow charts. Gotta learn the charts. Sure. But here we are. So I've seen people. Oh, good movement there, but doesn't quite get it. Yeah. I definitely think one of the one of the things that Hippo's been improving on lately as well is his movement. And it's even one thing that I've noticed in his play that like I've even tried to like sort of adapt and emulate in my own way. Yep. Um, but it's a lot of that like dash back movement, a lot of the movement around the map, um, yep. things like that that's gonna put you in like some some more advantageous advantageous yep. positions and create some pressure. Yep. However, Duck looking like he don't care about that movement. Nah, Duck don't <laughs> care at all. Duck be like Give me the bread. <laughs> <laughs> he's, nah, but his, his showing today has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, he, he is really good. And for such a young player as well. Yeah. What, three years younger than the game itself? I'm not too sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But it, that's always refreshing to see as well. Yeah. Like, the younger generation embracing the game. That's the magic of the game as well, though. Like, you see games to, to, like, in this day and age, like, six months after they've... They've come out, they've been, been a fad, and they're out. Exactly. Something about this one that's just stuck, you know? It's good. Duck cleaning that stuck yeah. up. Speaking of flowchart, Duck's flowchart, just his ability to know what to do in every situation just seems to be really profound. Mm. And it shows in just, yeah, the combos that he does, his follow ups, and just his movement around platforms, getting around what the other characters are doing as well. Mm. That was really nice. Like covered the covered the covered with oh. the down tilt and then as soon as he saw the roll in was able to turn around and grab. Yeah. Right decision there to wave land on the platform for a grab, doesn't, but unfortunately he doesn't get the turn around. Up throw. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. Converts from getting that uh, short hop up air. A couple soft up airs and big tips. Yeah, big sword. Good anyway. movement from Hippo as well. I've seen Hippo catching game. people a lot with that uh, back throw. Uh, F smash the Miss Turk. Mm. He's doing a good job of like keeping him cornered, but Duck finding that one opportunity to go all right. I'm Ooh, getting out of nice. here. Nice. Oh, spot dodge. Doesn't quite get the F smash. Got to be careful for that second shine. Yeah. That will send you straight to the depths. Exactly, but he converts off that up smash. Hippo and he's Ooh. lost off the game one. We've got to be careful. Ooh, nice upbeat. Early upbeat to uh, get that hitbox above the stage quite, quite get the get him out of the way. Good he's man. Gonna, he's going to need to close it out. Good stuff. Hits him with the reverse upbeat. Closes it out without taking too much percent. Now he's got an opportunity of his own to... Uh, up there, finish off game um, one, but again, Duck finding that one opportunity to yeah, that's put Hippo. Not looking good here. Oh no, it lets him up. Thought he would have got the ledge for sure. I think it jumps jump. on. Yeah, yep. still gone. We ain't touching ground here, boys. Good stuff. Clean play by Duck. Very nice. Fox Marth always a good game to watch. Yeah, definitely. I'd say oh, top one two out of three of the best characters in the game. Oh, and a switch. Ooh. Hell yeah, now we're in my territory. <laughs> I love this. Right, so I, love, I love Falcon Mars. This matchup is so fun because it's just both of them do dirty, dirty things to each other. Yeah. Like the combo game on both of them is like perfect for each other's weight. And you can get like, as Marth, I know you can get like, when you're around 30, 40%, you get up for up tilt conversions. Yeah. Um, before that, I know you can do like down throw tech chase as well. Yeah. Um, up tilt's a very useful tool in this matchup for uh, for Marth. Just, it covers yeah, so many of his approaches. Yeah. They're probably Falcon's biggest strength. Hippo looking really good. I wonder why we're seeing the... Uh, maybe it doesn't want to get chain grabbed. That is possible. Yeah, I think... Uh, he's changed characters uh, a couple times today to avoid counter picks. Yeah, I know he, there was the Marth switch earlier. Yeah. Oh, ooh. I really appreciate the effort. But that ain't working on the flow here. Especially if you don't jump. Ooh. Marth hits with the sword, but it doesn't matter. Nah. No good trade. No sword, good trade. Sword not as strong as your kneecaps. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Yeah, tech chasing one of Hippo's uh, strengths. I know it's something that he uh, spent a lot of time grinding. Ooh, doesn't get the dash attack. Up yeah. tilt, up air. 
Oh no, there we go. Gets the fair instead. Drop on the ledge? No. Gets the F smash instead. Falcon sit box popping, peep, peeping over the uh, the side <laughs> of the stage when you're trying to Good recover. If you're up there. Good near ledge. Not seeing much capitalization up the grab though, which you really need to be able to do. I find up throw a bit more uh, suitable, especially versus Mark. <laughs> duck, <laughs> duck trying to do the fake out. But yeah, he's Ooh. getting these down throws, but Hippo's di them too well to get any follow-up. You can get a up throw up air is guaranteed almost any percent. And then up air leads down into it. Watch out for the scrub jump. Yep. We're going to say, you've got to be careful. Yep. Yeah. Falcon's strength keeping Marth in the air, but Marth's strength getting Falcon off the stage. So we are at one apiece, losers quarters. Going to Dreamland, and we see the character switch back to Fox. Back to Fox. So it's definitely a chain grab. Yeah. Fear of the chain grab. Which can be pretty brutal. And as we saw, like, against Saucy, like, he's got chain grab on point. Yeah, it'd be good to see if you can avoid him from hitting those platforms or follow up if he does. Like, I've seen his uh, few good attempts at... Oh, makes it back. Yeah, hip, uh, Dreamland being one of his most favorite stages. He likes the space, although people say it's a bad stage for Marth simply for the fact that your tippers don't reach yeah. um, to those side platforms. Oh, reads the, reads the roll in. Give him the bull. <laughs> Give him the bull. No, but back to what you're saying as well. I, like, I don't know. I feel personally a lot of a lot of melee comes down to preference, right? So obviously stages have some advantages, but I don't think the advantage is like as big as what people say it is. Definitely. Like, definitely. It all, I think it all comes down to what you personally what you personally prefer. Yeah. And and it's like yeah, you might have to yeah, exactly. Like you might you might have to tack on an extra 30, 40 percent to get a kill, but if you're really good at doing combos, like you're more than happy to do that. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like just that comfortability going all right. Like a new people's playstyles will change around, um, yeah, sort of the stages that they like. Like they a bit more comfortable with it, knowing what you can do where. I don't know. I'm stuck. Now we see Hippo, Hippo with uh, down two stocks, 180 percent still living. Thank yeah, you, Dreamland. Like, Tipper up there, not doing it. <laughs> yeah, duck, ducks are uh, follow-ups off shines. Getting the uh, the thunders combo. Ooh. Slight bit of misspacing, but impeccable DR. Still <laughs> living. Drop from the ledge. Well, back sorry. air? No. Doesn't need it. Close Is it going to need this back air? I'm going to take the stock <laughs> instead. Mate. I'm just going to hold this ledge. You have all the power when you have the ledge. You know Marth is pretty strong. Like, he holds the ledge f with one hand. <laughs> most, of the, most of the cast, like, They're they use one-handed, one -handed, right? But Ma Marth a big boy. He's like, oh, I got this big sword, I got this cape. <laughs> no oh, capes. nice. Oh, oh. Nah. Saves him. It was either, it was either like, you're going to, like, throw away the stock or... Oh, smart. Nah, not smart. Damn, big not brain. Smart enough. The idea to go out was good, but, uh... Oh, Nair doesn't quite hit. Oh, good short end. All right, Hippo, Hippo got some work ahead of him. I've seen <laughs> he does. Him, I've seen him ed try and edge guard with uh, just Mart's oh, jab a bit him. too much today. I mean, is that you? No, actually, sorry, I think that was you when you were playing small. <laughs> that was a good game. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but was, you know what? I get a free dinner out of it, baby. So you did do the... Oh, <laughs> dude, if you go back and watch that VOD, I was saying, these boys better be doing a lunch money match because yeah. they say they're going to every time they play in tournament, and they haven't done it since. Yeah. All right, two pictures to go for Duck. It's all up to if uh, Hippo can get a couple quick ones. Oh, unfortunate there. Dash dance. Ooh, Ooh. Almost. I've seen a fair few of those reads by Dark, and he's almost hit every single one that he's gone for. Yeah, I, he's I, like th his I think he's about 80 20 for reads. Or yeah, so. um, he does like a good job of not so constantly things. doing it as well. Mm -hmm. He'll uh, oh. save him for those really opportune moments where he's applied the pressure that he needs to to force them into something, and then goes, Alright, you're going to be here now. That spot dodge is so good, by the way. 
spot dodge so hard right now. Nice. Dash Are we gonna attack. Jump. Yes, man. Jump. Yeah. Oh. Good patience. See, it's all about applying those little bits of, like, not even pressure, but just sort oh. of positioning. Yeah, that's the. Like, positioning yourself that you really have to force them to, like, choose an option. Like, even just that short hop that Hippo did was, like, is he coming down to the ledge to throw yeah. a move out? Is he coming up to get you if you go high? Yeah, and then exactly. Reed's stuck going straight, hits him with the sword. Ready. How are you, Pokemon Stadium? This music, I swear to God. Alternate so music. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about the alternate music. There's a, what? It's like, you hold... I'm, I'm pretty sure you, like, you hold L and it plays alternate music. Like, a lot of stages have, like, two themes. Oh, anyway, really? Yeah. Man, dropping knowledge. Drop I'm pretty balls. sure you hold L. Uh, you, you, you do when you don't win. <laughs> yeah, well, call me capital. I'm definitely an L, let me tell you that. In and out of the game. In and out burgers. Alright, it's got him off stage. Nice jabs. Get the jabs. Oh, oh so crisp. Beep boop Done. <laughs> Not a robot, though. <laughs> yeah. All about that flow chart. Where are they? Alright, what can I hit him with? Oh, oh unfortunately, duck. Jabbed wrong way. Maybe missing his turn around there. Oh, that position is not somewhere you want to be if you're Hippo, but he's like, I don't care, forward throw? No. Oh, he knew, he knew where he was going, but yeah. just did not quite get it out. Just timing just a tad off, but... That's a good recovery. I think it looks like... That was smart. The stage pick is paying off for Hippo. Oh. Up smash. Up smash. <laughs> Up smash. Alright, we got a windmill fight. Not, not quite as entertaining as a pit fight, but... Well, how do you feel about this transformation? What... what I'm not a fan of it, only for... Only for... Oh... Shut up, please. Um, <laughs> only for how jank the uh, windmill can be. Like, yep. you could be like on it one second, you and because of the rotations, yeah. like... You go to jump, and it turns out you've already started falling, and it kind of eats your jump. Stuff like that can kind of be a bit hard to deal with, but... We're back to the good one now. Uh, this and the fire one. I love the tree. The tree's so good. Tree's it's like movement and wall jumps. Love hitting tippers through the tree. I did one today. I was like, yeah, boy. Nice. Let's go. I don't mind Hippo, the, the grass uh, one as well. Grass yeah. one's alright. Hippo's yeah. really good at sort of delaying his recovery, waiting for, like, forcing them to either roll up and then he's got ledge for free, but he does a good job of that, but it looks like ducks started off Hip, like in Hippo's favour this game, but Duck sort of just run away with it. Exactly. Waddled away. Oh, I thought there's an F smash there, I think. I think it could have reached. Yeah. yeah Hippo trying yeah. to get these Duck, dares, Duck dares off the ledge. Hippo got a mountain to climb here, but uh, Duck feeling really confident. Oh, yeah, he tries to... Thought he was going to go for that instant up and get the second shine. Ooh, we got him. Yeah, now he's got a mountain to climb. Gotta be careful of that janky lip there. Yeah, see, as well. again, just really stalling it out perfectly. See, there's the mountain. He's, he's hanging on it. Oh, this game's a bit of a cliffhanger. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Tip tipper it through the corrugated Another steel. Another one. You can still recover from here. Oh, oh misses it. Unfortunately. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, charges it. What, what a, read. a way to finish the game.